Hi, my name is Jerome Guzman. Um, I'm the guitarist for Sawyer Fredericks. And uh, this is my uh, late 90s, early 2000s Fender Stratocaster. Um, I've had it since I was about 10 years old. And um, it's still serving me well now. It has a maple neck. Um, still the original, uh, original pickups, original everything. I just, I added like an extra spring in the back, but that's about the only thing that's different about this guitar. So I, I use, um, I actually use, uh, this is a five, five pickup selector and um, it blends all three of these pickups in different configurations. And I actually use all of them depending on the song. Um, I usually use mostly the bridge pickup for, uh, for lead stuff for the songs that are really, um, that are a little bit higher in energy. I'll either use the, the bridge pickup right here or I'll flip it down here and that uses, uh, I think that uses all of them. So, um, so yeah, and then everything in between, you know, depending on, like, usually I like that position for rhythm, um, and the, the middle one is maybe the one I use about the, the least amount. So the, my volume knob, I actually love Stratocasters because the volume knob's right here. It allows me to use my pinky to do volume swells, so I can actually, like, bring the volume up, um, almost like a, like a lifting kind of feeling, so I could do that really easily and pick notes at the same time. I usually leave the tone at about like maybe nine on both of them um, just to like bring the, the, the top end down a little bit. Gets, strats tend to get really bright sometimes. This is tuned in standard E. Uh, I use uh, Ernie Ball 11 gauge strings and uh, change them about you know once every couple weeks and uh, they've never never broken on me. Um, so this guitar over here is a uh, uh, 1990s Les Paul Jr. I'll just put that over there so it doesn't fall. And uh, yeah, this is a Les Paul Jr. It's got two P90 pickups on it. Um, it's uh, they call it the Les Paul Jr. because it's it's thinner than a usual uh, regular Les Paul standard, which would be like a much thicker guitar. But uh, this I use uh, exclusively for slide. Um, I have the action really high up. You'll see the strings are really high up off there. So I have that set up for slide guitar and it's tuned to open D. So it's um, D, A, D, uh, F sharp, A, and then D. Also use uh, Ernie Ball on this guitar and I, I believe these are 12 or 13 gauge. I forget. Um, I, I will, we'll go with 12. I have a feeling these ones are 12. Um, Definitely a little heavier than that guitar, uh, just because of the uh, I use it for slide, so I don't actually have to put my fretting fingers on there. So the the big the big song that I use this guitar on is uh, Four Pockets. Um, that's usually we usually play that later on in the set, and it's a real like uh, like dirty bluesy sounding song, and it's perfect for this guitar because um, I do I use it, use the slide on it. Um, and then uh, there's a few other songs that sometimes I'll use this guitar on too if I just feel like playing slide basically it's really up to me. Um, I basically use this guitar exclusively on the, the bridge pickup right here. It kind of gives it a trebly sort of sound that cuts through a little bit more. Um, occasionally I'll, I'll use the middle, middle pickup um, but I keep the tone volume at the max usually. Um, it sounds really great with slide so so this is a, a Fender Supersonic. Um, I got it about five years ago. It's a 22 watt. Um, it's got a single 12 inch speaker in the middle. And even though it's only 22 watts, it's a tube amp and it's about as loud as it, it would ever, as you would ever need. Most venues mic you up anyways. So um, it has two channels. It has a dirty channel, it has a clean channel. I mostly use the clean channel. Um, but, because uh, I could get a decent amount of breakup when I turn the volume a little bit past 12 o'clock, uh, it sounds really good. The amp really opens up and it, it just feels great to play. Um, if it's a little bit of a smaller room, I'll actually use the dirty channel and just have a little bit of gain. I'll probably keep the gain, like equalize that, but uh, I'll keep the volume down and a little bit of gain just so I could get that same overdrive just at a lower volume because usually the, the clean channel boosted uh, would blow away a lot of smaller rooms so I can only usually do that when it's it's a bigger room. Um, other than that, uh, this uh, I have this, this custom handle that I made because the stock, uh, well I didn't make it, it's actually made by Brookwood Leathers. I forget where they're out of, I think it's 
it might be down south somewhere. But they make these really beautiful leather handles for, for like amps and suitcases and stuff. Um, the stock, uh, the stock fender rubber handle is really, really weak, and it actually broke on me, and I almost dropped the, dropped the amp. So I got this really nice, uh, really nice leather handle for it. Pretty minimalist uh, pedal setup for most guitarists. Um, beginning of the chain is obviously a tuner um, by Boss. It's never failed me, um, and it uh, and it mutes too, which is nice. Um, next is the Tube Screamer. It's a uh, it's, this is a reissue by Ibanez of the original um, TS-808, which is the, uh, the uh, overdrive that one of my favorite guitarists, Stevie Ray Vaughan, actually used. He used two of them, I believe. Um, but this is, uh, this is a reissue of one of those old, older pedals. Um, that sounds great. It's my, it's my main overdrive that I use for uh, basically anything that, that requires of it. Um, the next pedal that I have is this uh, compressor by Exotic, and I, I usually almost always have that on because it kind of like brings some of the. Sometimes when I when I play out of the amp um, at a, at a higher volume, it'll get there'll be some volume spikes, and this kind of like helps tame that a little bit. And it kind of puts like a ceiling on um, how loud things actually get, and it also has a nice low end too. It just feels good to play that. Um, gives it kind of a percussive feel. Um, and then next in the chain is the uh, same company, Exotic. Uh, it's, a, it's a boost that doesn't colors the tone a little bit, makes it kind of like richer and warmer, um, but mostly it's just a volume boost for, for solos. That one's, the, the booster I use maybe, a, there's, there's like three songs that we do that, uh, that, I, really, that I really need it for. Um, because it really does boost the volume a lot, and that on top of the overdrive really makes it loud. So it's not something I would use like, you know, for every song. Um, so that only gets that only gets used really occasionally. Um, the next thing I have here is uh, is a delay pedal by MXR. You'll see a lot of these. It's a carbon copy. It's just a great analog delay pedal that gives some nice coloration to uh, to your tone and makes for some nice uh, environments for your guitar to live in. Um, and the next thing, this is my latest edition. Uh, this is a pedal by Keeley. It's, uh, it's a vibroverb, so it has like a kind of like a rotary simulation uh, thing, and it's also like a real like uh, deep reverb. And um, it's just, I use it for atmospheric effects and stuff like that. Just if I want kind of like a spacey or a kind of trippy sort of sound, um, I'll, I'll put that on. And I kind of just, that's kind of more of a toy for me. I just kind of, I don't really need it for any of the songs we play, but sometimes it's, it's nice to just kick on to have like a different, different sound going on. Um, and that's about it. I mean, this is a, uh, this is a Voodoo Lab pedal board uh, and on the bottom I have the power supply also by the same company and that powers all five of these uh, six all six of these pedals so one of my favorite things that I have is this this is actually a slide holder that clips on to uh, your microphone stand so that I could just put my slide on it so if I want to take a slide guitar solo I just like reach over to my mic stand pop it off and there you go it's like the best ten bucks I've ever spent and um, this slide is a, is a blues bottle, and uh, blues bottle glass slide, and that's what I use for sliding. And then pick? Uh, pick, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I use a couple. I saw you put one in the fender. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so for picks, I use one of two different ones. They're both Dunlops. Uh, one's a one and a half millimeter, and the other one's uh, a one millimeter. Um, no real. It, it's kind of like I, I don't really have any any rhyme or reason to which one I use. Uh, this one's a little heavier, and sometimes I just feel like using the heavier pick. Um, this one's lighter, kind of like a little bit better for strumming. But other than that, usually it's just which, whichever one I happen to be grabbing at the time. But uh, I always use these Dunlop picks because they have a nice matte finish and they just feel really good in your fingers. So. Cool. Last shot. You saw everyone else do it. Okay. Um, cool. You know, 
if you want to see this gear live, come see Sawyer Fredericks on the road. Go to SawyerFredericks.com for Okay, tonight. you got it. Um, so if you want to see this gear in action, uh, you could come to a, a Sawyer Fredericks show. Um, we're usually playing all around the country, and you can find out uh, where those shows are by going to his website, www.SawyerFredericks.com, or um, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, he's on Spotify and iTunes too. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.